What's up, folks? Welcome to the channel. I'm Don and I'm smiling because first I have a gift request to do a song that I've not heard of. I've heard of the artist because I've reacted to Daryl Dodd. I think I did Daryl's cover of Sundown, Gordon Lightfoot's Sundown, and, oh, four years ago, three years ago. It was quite a while ago. Somebody had requested that. But anyway, April Kim, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't think it would be Kim. I know in Hebrew, Chaim means life. And like when you, you'll hear somebody say Lachayim, it just means to life. But April Kim, I'm going to say Kim, requested and made a donation for me to do Tony Lama's boots. And I was confused for quite a while on whether or not it was Tony Lama or Tony, uh, Tony Loma. Because it's spelled Lama, but Miranda has a song where she said, I forget which one it is, but it's off of, I think, her Kerosene album, one of the songs there, where she talks about Tony Loma's boots. And it might have just been the way she enunciated, but it threw me off. I'm like, there's an A there, and Miranda, maybe she has inside knowledge. But anyway, April, thank you, by the way, for the, for the gift and for the request. And you requested the song Tony Lama's Boots, but I couldn't really find one with that title, but I found new Tony Lamas. So I'm going to do that one, and then uh, you could let me know in the comments. Hopefully I get the right, the right version. Let's see what Daryl brings us with new Tony Lamas. And I don't know. I think this is a Lukenbox, maybe? I went down to the boot store to get me a new pair of Tony Lama boots. They had a real good shine, you know, they look real fine with my cowboy suit. <laughs> so I went down there to Billy Bob's, you see, to pick up on some long legged mama. Yeah, I was looking good the way a cowboy should in my new Tony Lama. <laughs> Before he gets going, this has a family tradition feel to it, the way he's singing it. The cadence, the tempo, very family tradition-ish. Well, I asked this girl to dance. I might have had a buzz And I told her I knew What color her underwear was <laughs> She said, man, you can't do that Oh, I said, they're baby blue And I promise Cause I seen their reflection In my new Tony Lama <laughs> yeah, my new The mind pictures I'm getting now about how this could go so wrong slash right, depending on your perspective, as uh good thing this is a song. New gate, I said they're hot pink and I promise. Cause you walk by and they sort of caught my eye in my Well, it was getting kind of late. 
and I know I had a buzz. And this girl walked up and I told her I knew what color her underwear was. She said, I'm not wearing any. I knew it. I knew it. I said, that's really good, cause I promise. For a minute there, I thought I had a big old crack in my new Tony Lama. Yeah, my new Tony Lama. I love my brand new spanking pair of spanking Tony Lama. There's so much you could do with that theme. The thing that cracks me up, because I'm like a student of human nature and how the human brain works and all this, and the ideas we get and the ones we run with, is that these are adults <laughs> coming up with theme. Somebody got the idea about shiny Tony Llamas and what you could see looking up. And like I maybe it came from, I remember... Back in the day, well, I lease all my cars now, so I don't have to go to the Division of Motor Vehicles to get them inspected. But back in the day, uh, when I owned my cars, I'd have, especially when I was a teenager and the, had the pieces of crap vehicles, you always had to take them to get inspected. We had to go up here in New Jersey every year. And one of the tests they would do is they would take a mirror and they were trying to like underneath the car. I don't know if they were looking at the exhaust or what they were looking at to see if it had holes in it. I don't know. But you could get an idea, you know, that you could go to DMV, get your car inspected, you see a guy with a mirror and you're and you're wearing your cowboy boots, you know, your boots. And I don't know where ideas like this come from, but it's a funny one. And I thought he would go, the first girl was underwear. Then I'm like, all right, where's he going next? Like, but he kept going underwear, underwear. But then I'm like, the only way this thing is going to go any further is when she's not, if so, the next one isn't wearing it. And she is, and she was. And he kept it relatively clean. He's like, oh, I thought my boots had a uh, crack in them. It's like, all right, that you can handle that. April, that was funny because when I said in the song that this is like a dude song, I mean, that was like a dude song to conceptualize and to sing. I just, uh, you know, maybe girls could get away with a certain rendition of something, but generally dudes get away with this. This is our idea. This is how we think anyway. And maybe girls do, but maybe guys are freer to admit it. What am I going to rate that? And I love how the audience, of course, they knew the song and it's a funny song. So if you know the lyrics, you're going to sing this. But there's a lot more they could do with this song. There's different directions they could take. The shiny Tony Llamas in, you, you know, you when you took them off at home and then someone else in the, your little kid takes them and wears them. What does a little kid see? Uh, not necessarily in a bad way, you know, not bad, but, you know, suggestive way. All right. The number, and I just had a simple goofy grin on my face the whole time was an 8.5. I'm going to rate that one just like that, April. And, uh, I, thank you for requesting. <laughs> now my brain's a little scrambled, but I, you know, I, I'm assuming you're in the South somewhere. You might not be, but this is one of the reasons I love Southern women. It's just different. I mean, I love my Northern women too, but I mean, thank you for that, April. Uh, yeah, folks, you can leave your comments for that. Is that it is pretty funny though that the the gift requests are definitely more risque type songs. Jacob Herricks has had a couple, White Trash Party, but they're still well within the confines of what I'm willing to do on the channel. But I, it's got to be reasonably wholesome and in the traditional family. And this clearly was all of that. So April, thank you again, folks. You could direct your comments at April or you could direct them at me, try to make them kind, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, have a great day. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you on another video. <laughs> Keep rocking the country. Keep those boots shining. <laughs>